Hey, Rhea Rhea Dumpster Diva here with you on this beautiful Sunday that is not cold and is nice and sunny and not raining on me, which is awesome too. And <laughs> um, I decided to make a little stop today and see if I could find anything at CVS because yesterday there was nothing. Well, to my surprise, um, I went in there and looked, which there was probably more. I'm in my Sunday clothes, so I'm not trying to roll around and get all gross and everything. So I went in CVS dumpster there and found one, two, three. We'll see. We got one, two, three here. We got number four, five, six, seven ovulation kits. And yes, I'm going to put some of these in the pantry. And yes, I'm going to give some of these to my sister. Because her and her husband are trying to have a baby. $46.29 at CVS. And no, they are not expired by any means. It's like, holy smokes. Then also found a whole pack of Always. The only thing that's a problem with them, not one missing. The top's open. So those will be going in the pantry. Thing is, is all I have to do is take a couple of good Ziploc baggies and throw those in there. And somebody will have some pads. Just amazes me something like that that could get donated to um, a shelter or get donated to um, somewhere. I mean, there's people going without. I mean, even put them in the bathroom for your employees. I mean, I don't know. Just the strange things places do. But I shouldn't be surprised. So I, I see stuff in the dumpster every day that kind of floors me and confuses me greatly, but I know I'm not the only person. I'm going to turn this phone back around. So, whoops. Barney Rubble, sorry. Um, <laughs> see how pretty it is out today? Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, don't mind the ugly stick-looking tree that's supposed to have been, uh, it's supposed to be a pine tree. You can see that it is a dead pine tree. <laughs> they were supposed to cut it down here nearly two years ago. Don't know what the holdup is now. I understand the beginning of or end of 2019 why, but yeah, it needs to go because if it lands on my apartment, I'm not going to be a happy camper, but it's going to land on somebody's because yesterday it was creaking in the breeze. So yeah, but I have my other stuff from yesterday that I'm going to take up to the pantry. I just like to get everything all together and organized and take it up at one time. And I was going to drop it off in there today, but there was a quite a bit. Somebody else dropped some stuff off. So it's like I try to make sure I have enough room and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of um, kind of scary. It's been um, <clears throat> empty a lot lately, which kind of tells you that people are in desperate need. Because usually there's stuff in there, but, you know... There hasn't been a whole lot. So I've tried the best I can to put what I can in there. It's like, you know, even if I find a good deal at the store too. Not everything comes from the dumpster, but I also make sure it will be something that I would eat, something that I would wear, something, you know, I, I, I'm not going to give it to somebody else if it doesn't um, meet my uh, approval because I'm not, I'm not that type of person. But... I try to make sure, like I said, everything that goes in there is able to be used by somebody. And, you know, also just being able to go to the store and find deals and put them in there too. That helps people out so much. You don't, you don't know what a can of ravioli for a kid over the summer that's hungry and their parents don't have the money to feed them. I mean, a bowl of cereal, you don't, you don't know what it means to somebody else. It may, 
it may be small potatoes to one person, but it means a lot to somebody else. So, um, but with that being said, I am going to go in here and enjoy this lovely Sunday evening. I'm going to go in here and try to relax. I've been up since super early this morning. My neighbor's dog woke me up about seven. I normally get up about eight o'clock on Sunday mornings. Um, <laughs> yeah, seven o'clock. Yes, I heard my neighbor's dog just having a fit. I was like, that was just absolutely joyful to hear. But I'd rather hear birds than the dog. So <laughs> nothing against dogs. I like dogs. Um, do I gravitate towards cats better? Probably a little bit because... I have uh, a cat niece and two cat nephews. If uh, people that are cat people, they know what I'm talking about. So um, my cat niece, Josie, and my cat nephews, Jax and Sunny. And yeah, so those are my, that's my niece and my two nephews for right now until I get a human one. And then the human one will get just as spoiled. So <laughs> if not more so. But um, y'all have a good night. God bless. And I will talk at you soon.